beautiful people. It's Nate, one more time for another awesome workout for you guys. I'm here with Matt Chandler, who plays, check out the shirt, for the New York St. John's Red Storm. What we're going to do is give you guys a killer workout that if you're an athlete, if you're somebody who needs to get ignited to get off the couch, if you're somebody who wants to train like an athlete, if you are an athlete and you don't have a program at home, you're gonna to wanna to check out this session. You guys ready for it? Let's move, let's crush out the session and have some fun with me and Matt for an awesome agility style workout. All right, guys, here is how this session goes down. What we want to think about in terms of, say, soccer or kind of endurance-based sports, I mean, most sports are broken up into, you know, alactic, endurance-based. There's, there's a lot of mixes of energy systems that's involved in sport. In set number one, we're going to be doing a 45-second set of hardcore work where he's going to be stepping, working on headers. And a 20-second piece in between, we're going to work each one of the sets twice. We have about six sets in this workout, and we're going to do a little burner at the end. But more importantly, guys, follow Matt and try to outwork him. The first time you go through the workout, you probably won't, but I hope you do. The second time, you'll know what to expect. The third time, you better kick his butt. Are you guys ready for it? Let's do a quick warm up and get into the first portion of this awesome agility style workout. All right, guys, first thing, hip openers. Let's go. We're gonna do, we're just gonna go through it, say maybe 10 to 12 reps of each exercise, of each movement. Again, it get prepped, get primed up and ready to go for your workout. After this, we're gonna go into little knee hugs. Give me four more of these. And just basically do what Matt does, that's it. When you're here, stay relaxed, mental focus. You know we're gonna work. Knee hugs, bring the knee into the chest. And get a little stutter step in between. Matt's 6'5", imagine playing defense. You know, try and get win a header in the air against this guy. Good luck with that, right? Again, working on that hip flexor, nice and strong. Keep that bottom or that planted foot deep into the floor. Give me two more of these. And then we're gonna go into reverse lunges with rotation. So if it's a left, right foot goes back, turn in to the forward leg. Give me 10 of these, alternating. And we're warming up. We're just gonna, again, some active warm up. This is you know, obviously nothing static here, some dynamic movements. And just work on slowly moving into it before we amp you guys up into some crazy energy. We'll go a few more. I love it when people come in there, you know, they try to put on that poker face like they're not nervous. I've trained Matt for a long time, back in the day. Now he's off in the big boy school, so I get to inflict a little more energy into his system again. All right, two more. And then what I want you to do is go into standing calf raises. So standing calf raises, just stiff-legged. Yeah, that's it. What's really important about foot training, especially in sport, realistically in anything, running, is that you get the lower limbs to fire. We want gastroc to fire up a little bit to, again, engage your feet, get your feet ready for work. And then we'll go into a bent knee position where you get more of the soleus. And yeah, drop down a little bit lower. So one thing I want you to think about is Matt, as a high-level soccer player, when he's sprinting, he could put about eight times the amount of, eight times his body weight on his soleus muscle in his, in his lower limbs. So it's really important to get these to activate and be engaged when he's playing and when he's running and when he's sprinting so that they're ready to take on that energy. These are barely ever trained, which is crazy. I learned the hard way. Um, but it's a great way to actually get that engagement before you put in that work, okay? Give me two more. And then we're going to get the front side. Good, now toe taps, that's it. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, most of you are gonna be terrible at this, right? Look, he's already slowing down, go a little faster. This is, a, as a trainer or as an instructor, it's a great way to number one, assess his range of motion when he goes into dorsiflexion, right? So now you can see, try to go a little higher. It's gonna feel like the front of his shins are gonna seize up on him, they're gonna get tired really fast. Soccer players wear cleats, hard surface on the bottom of their shoes. It's easy to get a little bit of stiffness in your ankles. But again, activate them before you go to work. Okay, five, four, let's get ready for it. Three, two, one, and done. Let's get into set number one.
In 45 seconds, on your toes, you're always gonna come back to zero. Step to your left, header, step to your right, header. I'm gonna call it out. I'll actually stay here, but I'm gonna stay out of the frame a little bit so that Matt can do his work. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, fast feet, let's go. Left. Yes, beautiful. Look at this guy, ups, right. One step, clear the ball, left. Clear the ball, back to the middle. You are back in the defense, left. Clear the ball, oh my God. Notice his power and his header, very good. Left, 20 seconds. Right, clear the ball, beautiful work, man. Excellent work. Left, right, clear, right, clear, left, clear, right, left, and good. Now what he's doing is little crossovers. Julie, kick the ball over. I'm gonna take, give him the ball, look at that. Little crossovers, 20 seconds, left to right, good. Now, he just went from offense clearing it out, now he's going into, or he went from defense clearing it out, now he's going into a little offense. If you don't have a soccer ball, guys, just mimic the movement, it's okay. Five, four, three, two ball comes to me. Got it, let's go. Three, two, one, fast feet, let's go. Left, clear it out, big man. Right, I love it. Left, right, 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 left, left, right, right, come on, left. Here I'm breathing already, crew. Right. Left. Left. And right. There you go. Comes in. Let's go. Crossovers. The key is it doesn't matter if you're a professional soccer player. Well, maybe you never played soccer in your life. The difference is, is you just mimic the movements. It's still great energy really good exertion and it's getting to do something different which is imperative in times when you're stuck in a box and you want to think outside one right four three two one good go into a plank position into a push-up position push up into a side plank so here he's going to push up turn it over push up turn it over go for it Now here again, I'm just challenging you to use your core, going to some upper body strength, building a little more capacity for work. There is no reason why you can't do these workouts. There is no reason why you can't do what Matt does. The only thing that's slowing you down is the mental strength to commit to doing this style of workout, right? 10 seconds. Core strong, but keep that neck nice and tight. There you go, good. Four, three, two, one. And just like that, set number one is done. We'll do a quick break. We'll come back in for set number two. All right, here we go for your second set. We're gonna do figure eights. So if you don't have cones, all good. Just think two steps forward, one to two steps forward, and then take your turn, okay? No matter where you are. I realize some of you don't have a lot of space. What we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, Matt's in the middle of the cone, so you're in the middle of your living room or wherever you are. I'm gonna say figure eight right. He's gonna go to his right as fast as he can, all the way back, turn, and continue to go that way for the 45 seconds, okay? Things to think about, fast feet, Little short choppy hands. We'll use your hamstrings and calves. We warm them up to get ready for this and go for it. And then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass Matt the ball. If you do not have a ball at home to dribble, just go on your toes. Like that, that's all you gotta do, right? Again, guys, I wanna challenge him while he's tired. That's the idea, that's the concept, okay? 45 seconds, hard work. Four, three, two, one, right, go. 45 seconds as fast as you can. Make your footsteps 
strong and try to keep it consistent the whole time. Awesome work, man. That's beautiful. Matt has phenomenal footwork. Back in the day training, his ladder skills were always really, really good. Now, when he's cutting, you can see the floor moving. That's important. He's digging into the ground. He's making it legitimate. But again, it's up to you to decide how hard you're going to work for that consistent 45 seconds. It's a game changer when you go full out. Five, four, come on. Three, two, one. Back to the middle. Let's, oh, almost messed that up. 20 seconds. Yeah. Remember, if you don't have a ball, guys, it's okay. Just go on your toes. It's always about the challenge of getting it in order while you're tired. Focus and move. Seven, six, five. Good work, man. Excellent work. Three, two, one. Second set. He's going to move left. Ball comes to me. Let's go. Three, two, one. Left side. Go. You will notice you probably have one side that's better than the other, right? It's a common thing. It doesn't mean you shouldn't work just as hard. Count your footsteps if you have to. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. Come on, guys. Ten seconds. It's tough, but it's worth it. Five, four, three, two, one. And if you don't have a ball, on your toes. Let's go. 20 seconds. Conditioning, it's not always about the work. A lot of times, it's literally about the control. And it's okay to mess up. As a matter of fact, it's part of it. It allows you to gain your composure. It shows you how tired you actually are. It's okay. Five, four, three, two, one. V up, hold position. It's going to turn sideways to show you guys. And I like to do this with players because we don't do a lot of isometrics for athletes. Lock those hands in, reach up, and hold it. I want him to drop his feet down here a little lower, a little lower. Hold that. Making him work a little harder. Good. Toes to shins. Dorsey flex, big man. Hold it. He's going to hold this for 45 seconds. That means you are now holding this for 45 seconds. You've seen the screen. Eyes off. Look at the top of your toes. Make that fist. Core tight and reach. Reach out, man. Come on. Get up there. That's it. Nice. Dorsey flex the toes. More. That's right. Lock the knees out. Drop the feet down two inches. Hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. We're almost done. Set number two. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and rest. You guys are amazing. Great job. Quick break again. Let's get into set number three. Good job, guys. All right, rest is done. Now it's all about conditioning. These are 30-30, so you're doing a 30-second hard set with the equal amount of time of recovery. I want endurance, I want power, I want mental and physical, maybe even emotional strength on these ones. It's all about driving that maximum effort. Your goal, remember, is to outdo Matt. So the first time you go through this, work 80% of what he does. The second time, it's 90. Third time, you better kick his butt. High knees are first, 30 seconds. We're going to move into reverse lunges after that. Easy. Remember, the first one is going to be hardcore. The second one is easy. We're going to do four exercises of 30-30s. Are you ready? High knees in five, four, three, two, one, go. You better not be slowing down yet. You better be putting in that work. Notice, again, he's high on his, I, want him, I don't want the heels to touch. I want him on his toes. 15 seconds, core, look at his body, straight up, straight down like a piston, that's what you should be doing, come on, five seconds, four, three, 
two, one, reverse lunges, nice and easy. Step it back and then switch, good. Let's bring it back and then switch legs, yeah. These are movement, movement based. Ten seconds. Guys, I love seeing these athletes over time because I met Matt when he was 15, right? So these, it's the evolution is amazing watching these kids and how great these men, watching how great they become as, as athletes. Four, three, two, one. Next up, our headers. So positional headers. He's gonna step one direction, up in the air. One direction, up in the air. Three, two, one. Go. 30 seconds. That's it. Remember, he's a defender. So the thing is, you guys, you're not staying in one place and you're heading the ball. Look at the power in his torso. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Get up and get it out. Get up and get it out. Come on. Beautiful. 15 seconds. Get up and get the ball out. You are a strong defender. You are not playing around. This is the championship game in the NCAA final. How hard would you jump? Four. Three, two, one, good. Hold lunge now. 15 seconds, or sorry, it's actually 10 seconds. No, what am I saying? It's 15 seconds. I forgot what I was doing. Hold it, hold it. I wish you could hear how hard he's breathing, but that's the idea. When you go through conditioning, and you go through these styles of workouts, adaptation, exposure, getting it done, getting quick, to recover after you go through them on multiple occasions. And it's all about this first. Switch legs. I don't care where your level is when you start. I only care about your intention when you finish. You always have to think of it like that. As soon as you push play, you can hear I start the conversations. You're in it to win it. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna do it again. Let's go. Three, two, one. High knees, go. Yeah, you didn't tell me it was two. We're gonna do two. Like that though. Come on. When you get tired, think about loosening up your arms, but you're still driving a little bit. Your head staying in position. He's that beautiful piston piece, right up, straight up, straight down. And that's what I want to hear. VO2 max. We don't get there enough. Seven, five, four, three, two. One, good, reverse lunges, 30 seconds easy and recover, go. One thing about athleticism is that the, typically the mental toughness is there. What you always wanna be able to do is connect that to how your body is responding to the work. So in other words, when you're failing or you're tired, how are you planting your feet? How do you recognize your body in space? How are you regulating your breathing? And where are you performing at optimal level and where do you need work? So you always have to think about that at an athletic level or just at, a perform at any performance level or just as trying to get into fitness. Four, three, two, one, positional headers. This is gonna be hard, guys. Come on, stay with us. If your ceilings are low, stay low. Three, two, one, go. That's it. You are on a field. Maybe your field is your living room. Maybe it's the gym, right? But wherever you are, you know that different positions is where you gotta be. Different spots on the floor is where you gotta be. There's somebody in front of you jumping with you, get over them. Good job, buddy, that's beautiful, great jump. Excellent work, get up. Beautiful, great footwork. Eight, seven, love it, six, five, beautiful, four, three, Two, one, good. Lunge, hold, let's go. Hold it. Vertical chest, flex your quads, flex your glutes, core is tight, regulate your breathing, 10 and 10. It's amazing when you're working at this heart of a level, how much you can feel your legs, right? Switch. See, he's looking at the clock, he's like, come on, man, switch it up here, shoot. Hold it. Six, five, four, three. Your core piece is next. Go right down to your back. Go for it. 
and you're gonna do only six reps of these. If you wanna do a few more to add on, that's fine. So watch, hands over the head, off the ground. So think about you're holding a yoga block between your fists. Lift your head off the ground. He's gonna roll to his left or right, doesn't matter. Hold there, hands off the ground. Now roll back to your right. Hold it, legs off the floor, your legs never touch. Roll to your left, this is two, hold it. Hands up, 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 up. Good, legs out straight, bring it back. Legs out straight, hold it. Good, over, this is three. Stay nice and tall through your spine, that's it. Keep the chest off the ground, go for it, roll. That's what I want, good. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, over. Hold it, hold it, legs out, legs out. Get your floor all sweaty, bring it back, hold it. I always say, think of how strong babies are when they start to crawl, one more mat right and they start to roll over think about it this is what they're doing core nervous system it all has to work together to be able to do this bring it back last one hold five four three two one you guys are amazing quick rest we'll go into a couple more sets All right, here we go, set number four. This is kind of fun. We're running your X pattern. As a soccer player and as an athlete, you're always gonna be changing direction, obviously in multiple directions. This is an X. We have numbers though. So one, so you're in the middle. One is back to your left. Again, you will have to mirror this at home. One is to Matt's back left. Three is to Matt's front left. Two is to Matt's back right. And four is to Matt's front left right okay so one three two four he's gonna be in the middle always in that ready to react position i'm gonna call the numbers and you're gonna crush it out so i'm gonna show you one a couple of these so you know exactly how matt is turning watch his outside leg as he changes position in the middle one comes right back yeah two comes right back four comes right back three and then right back to middle okay so again be really controlled no matter what space you have if you have three feet in your living room it's okay just make a smaller x let's get it done four three these are only 30 second sets guys okay 30 second sets and we have a little surprise for the core piece three two one go on your toes two one three Three. You just never know, right? One. Accelerate. Four. Yes. Two. That's what I want. Beautiful off the spot. Two. And rest. Take the ball. If you have a ball with you, if not, just use your hands. X plank. So again, I want right knee or right hand to left knee. Knee it up to the top and then switch. 15 seconds, awesome, really good man, great. Really good, you're controlling the hips, again, working on coordination at the same time. Great work, buddy. really good. Two sets, guys, that's what we got, you know, we're following suit, knee it up, control it, great work, great work. Three, two, one, back to the middle, let's go. Never defeated, right? You recover, you mentally focus, and you get this done. Three, two, one, two. Back, four, back, come on. One, bring it back. Notice how he's turning his hips over. One, notice how he turns it over, pulling that right hip across. One, I want you to see it, that's right. Three, there you go, good acceleration. Three. There you go. Four. Three. Four. One. Two. Two more. Four. Four. Down to that nice little plank. Let's go, 15 seconds. Give me six of these guys. You can do six and 15. Three, two, one. Good job, man. Keep those hips nice and strong. Reset those hips. Don't rotate before you move. Two, let's count that as two. 
Three, beautiful. Four, reset. Five, reset. Six, reset. Give me the ball. Matt, stay in that position. Knees below your hips, hands below your shoulders. Hold bear crawl. Matt, turn to your left. So you're sideways. Hold it right here. Good. On your toes, knees off the ground. Hold position. Good. Now, hold this bear crawl, guys. Pack your neck. Drop this a little bit. Good. Bring your feet in two inches. Knees towards. Hold that. Good. Strong core. Push your chest higher. Nice work, man. Beautiful. Hold it. Even people 6'5 can hold bear crawl. Really controlled. Strong core. Allow your body to adapt to the difference in movements, but keeping your core nice and tight. Strong chest. Legs in a strong position. And just hold it. Recovery is always necessity, but a lot of times... It's all about keeping it active to make it harder. Look how hard it is. I think he's not hurting right now. But I, again, athletic perseverance. Five, four, three, chest up. Two, one, and rest. I have no idea how long it was, but I know it wasn't that easy. Good job, guys. We are almost home. Rest up. Let's get into one more set. All right, it is your final set. This one is 10 by 10. So every exercise that Matt is going to do and that you are going to do is 10 seconds in length, which is very much a lactic. So I really want you to think about max intensity. Basketball athletes, we do this often, 10 by 10, as hard as you can. Boxers too, actually, as hard as you can for 10 seconds on and then 10 seconds off. I really want you to work on that high level of stimulus in a short period of time with a short period of rest. The first thing we're gonna do is a shuffle volley. So I'm going to be calling out. I'm going to say Matt's going to go um, to his right. I'm going to follow him. He's going to pass it back to me, back to his left, pass it back to me, back to his right. That's the first thing we're, we're going to do. So we're going to work together on this one. Remember, if you don't have a ball or partner, just follow. You'll still get it. Now, obviously, with this one, there's a certain amount of control you need, so you can't go 100%, but it does mean you can't try. After that, we're going to go through shifters. So Matt will face the camera. He's going to go on his feet. And both hips are going to say left, right, left, right. Very common in soccer. We'll do those two, but then we'll continue to go as we go through. So I'll explain the next upcoming exercise within that 10 second rest. Are you ready? We're going to go to the right side first in four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> two, one, good. Shifters in 10 seconds, wait for it. Well, that was pretty smooth. <laughs> Five, four, three, fast feet start. Let's go, buddy. Right, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, rest. Now. Matt's gonna start on the floor. He's gonna be facing me. I'm gonna show you quickly, jump up from push up position. He's gonna come out of the sprawl, up, and then header. That's what he's thinking about doing. We're gonna go back into it for 10 seconds. And three, let's go buddy. Two, one, no, up, up for it. That's it, again, go, get up. That's it, so that's how high I want him to jump. I wanna get up there, get it. That's it, come on, up. Three, two, one. Good, rest. Killing it, guys, come on. Next up, I'm gonna throw him the ball. Again, it's all about being reactive when you're tired. He's gonna be on his toes again. I'm gonna say right, left, right. Three, two, one, right, left, left. Gotcha, right, right, left, left. Right, rest, beautiful man, it's really good guys. That's really hard to do. Again, if you're not, you don't have all of this, just work with them, trust me, it'll still work. Make sure you're on your toes between sets. Crossovers are next, Matt's gonna face the camera and all he's doing is showing a crossover, doing a big crossover and then continuing to go. Three, two, one, go. Crossover, 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 that's it. Now, I can feel your feet digging into the ground. 
Oh my god. Now that's athletic performance, guys. Four, three, two, one. Rest, and we do the entire thing one more time, and you're done. Six, five, four, three to your right first, buddy. Two, one. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Good. Shifters. Face the camera. Come on, buddy. Dig, dig it. Dig it. This is hard. Your lungs are open. Performance. Three, two on your toes. One. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Four. Three. Left. Right. Time. Good. Four seconds. I'm going to put this down. I don't need this. Three. Spall to header. Start in a push up position. Core is tight. Pop up. Foot position. Three, two, one. Go. Ten seconds. How many can you get? Good. Your chest doesn't even have to go all the way down to the ground, you guys. It can be a shorter position. Four, three. One more. One more. One more. Get up there, Matt. Good. Reaction. I need you to find something. I need you to find this. I need you to get in there. Let's go. Three, two, left. Left, my fault. Left, right, right, left. He found it. Left, beautiful. Right, left, right, right. Time, good. One left. Crossovers, guys. Again, you can see the athleticism in most people and how fast they change direction and how well they change direction. Three, come on, buddy. Start here. Uh, start to go to the opposite side first. Three, two, mirror him. Ready? Go. Ten seconds. Cross it over. I don't care how big your space is. I only care that you move the same. Smaller space, you should be able to catch him quicker. Core, glutes, ankles, calves. Seven, six. Come on. Five, a little extra. Four, three, two, one, and time. Guys, listen. Often, when people think about sports performance, they're number. They're always intimidated by what's involved. They sometimes are, are intimidated by what's involved in a particular sport. Think of this as great in-home training for times when you're stuck inside the box. It's a great way for you to escape and learn something new if you've never played soccer or done any type of training like this before. And it's also nice when you have somebody who is athletic as Matt and who really does work on performance and do his best to perform at a high level to want to emulate what they're doing. It might not look the same or you might not get to that level, but I promise you, if you keep at it and you stay with it, it's only a matter of time before you get to a level that you have a hard time believing that you have achieved. Stick with it dive in have fun with it don't take it too seriously be controlled in your movements and always think these young bucks come in and they want you to succeed as much as we want them to succeed props to matt for coming in if you want to check him out on instagram show him some love chandler 004 i'll leave the link in the description let him know how well he did because that's why we're here it's all about the support system and growing together thanks for watching and we will see you for another awesome workout